Oh, who's that? Who's that? Is that someone from like- Whoa! Whoa, Piper! No, 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 no! No! How's it going, guys? It's the final render here, and welcome back to Fallout 4 VR! This is going to be the first of what hopefully will be a new series called Walkthrough, where we will be going ahead and doing a walkthrough of all the best settlements and home mods available for Fallout 4, except we will be doing it in virtual reality, so we can get a really close look at all the fine details that all these amazing modders put into their work. We're going to start off with two home mods here, one which is very, very old and one which is actually pretty new. So with that being said, let's jump into virtual reality. Whoop. So here we are in the really rocking red rocket. This is actually one of the very first Fallout 4 home mods that actually came out, I believe. And it still stands up pretty darn well. It converts the entire interior into one fantastic apartment with multiple rooms and lots of functionality as well. Let's go ahead and start by looking at what was the original garage and take a look at some of the details in here. <laughs> This is just, this is awesome by the way guys, I absolutely love this idea. I'm really glad we're going ahead and doing this. Here we got something on the old idiot box right here. We've got Please Stand By, Episode 3. I love that one. And here we've got lots and lots of static items here. Pretty much everything in this place is static, meaning it won't actually fall over if you knock into it and stuff like that. But you know, we can go ahead and take a, oh dear. But we can go ahead and take a really close look at a lot of this stuff. Now see, look, we have got... Suffolk County School of Law, Boston, Massachusetts, Juris Doctor. Never knew what that said before, but we could take a really good close look at all the effort that's gone into here. Look, we got things like cat boxes and stuff like that, and we can see all the detail on the cat boxes, all the little stuff that's arranged behind and stuff, you know, about how much attention has been put to the magazines to make sure that the magazines are actually definitely touching and not floating in the air. Little sign baseball in there, gonna read any of the names on those. No, I can't read signatures even if they are in normal vision. Hey, there she is there, Eleonora's character right there, or at least one version, I believe that's so anyway. Ellie right there, and uh, some cool cow statues. Oh, look at that lamp! Look at that Nuka Cherry lamp! Man, that looks cool! <laughs> I never noticed that before until I've taken this really close look at this place. So yeah, this has actually been quite a popular home mod actually. Right now, in fact, I believe Lone Vault Wanderer is actually using this home mod in his actual live playthrough, so I recommend you go ahead and check that out, gotta love Lumber Wanderer's content. Here we can see some of the functionality we have got. We've got working bobblehead shelves, I found two there, do I have any more actually? So you can just go ahead and use this like any old bobblehead shelf, you can just go ahead and pop that in there, and boom, it appears, fantastic stuff, right? We've got ourselves a terminal here, and there's no actual notes or law or anything on it, but you can go ahead and play your Pip-Boy games on this terminal, should you want to. And this is really cool. Working magazine racks, I believe. Yes, these are indeed working. I do have a bunch of magazines I actually need to store. How about we go ahead and do that? All right, there we go. There's some of the magazines there. We've obviously been doing a live playthrough on live stream. So it's great to go ahead and see some of the rewards of our questing. Go ahead and go into this home mod. You right there, Silver Shroud? How you doing? Best wishes from the Silver Shroud. Take that crime. Oh, what have we got here? I hate Mondas. <laughs> Very clever, really. Very clever. A little Skyrim reference there. And look at this! We've even got a bench press in our own home! We've got a bench press in our own home! Which is absolutely fantastic! You look nice today! Thanks, Ellie. That's very kind of you! And we've got lots of chems in here. We've got stim packs, medics, daddy o lots of cool stuff there. Again, it's all static. We can't interact with it. We've got a bench press there. We've got some buff out right there. Of course, we need to go ahead and get our steroids if we're going to go ahead and use our workbench, don't we? We need to go ahead and get absolutely roided up! You can actually read the text on this. And these cans of water are huge. There's like a litre and a half in these cans. I never realised how much water is in those cans until you look at it in VR. Can I just say I absolutely adore this workshop area. There's so much stuff in here. We go ahead and take a look at all of our tools and stuff. We even got like the little pins and stuff back there. We can look at all the stuff we got on display. We got the duct tape there. I really wish I could take that adhesive. It's really hard to find in the base game. Lots of yarn and stuff to go ahead and make armor. And over here on the weapons bench, we've got lots of cool weapon accessories here. All these workbenches do work. This is a functional armor bench. This is a functional weapons bench. The amount of time it must have taken to go ahead and get all these models, make them static, and go ahead and throw them onto this one shelf. Must have taken forever. Here we've got like fusion cells, 10mm bullets, 32s. I love these magazines here, you know, these little white magazines. No idea where they're from or what they're for. But they look good, I like them a lot. We've even got some mines and more ammo. 
All the cool weapon rack stuff here from the loading screen item. Oh, we've got Codsworth down there. Oh, you've seen better days, buddy. Oh, well. So now we've watched some TV, we've used the terminal, we've got roided up, and we've gone ahead and made some weapons. What are we going to do when we just want to relax? That's the real question. What are we going to do when we want to relax? Well, firstly, we've got a lovely kitchen right here, as you can see. We've got lots of cool food decorations here. We have also got some uh, chairs right here, which I believe you can. Yes, you can go ahead and use for chairs, which is fantastic. Working cooking stove, I believe. Yep, working cooking stove right there. And we've got lots of cool decorations there. You know, lots of drink and lots of, <coughs> lots of beer and crisps and potato chips. Even a stocked fridge and stuff, and this is a functioning fridge. You can go ahead and store your food and stuff in here, or anything for that matter, I suppose. What have we got? Premium dark roast coffee. Oh yes, that's true, Ellie loves her coffee. I hate Mondas. Can we use the sink, actually, now I think about it? Is the sink functional? We can! We can go ahead and drink from the sink. Fantastic. <coughs> Nectar of life right there. But again, I love the just the sheer amount of items that have been converted into static items to go ahead and put on those shelves. Absolutely fantastic. How hungry do you think I am, Eddie? We've got instant mash and we've got, what's it got, dandy boy apples, don't even know what they are, more water, lots of stuff here to go out of use. Is there any food on here I can take? No, there is not. Toasters, man, we've got loads and loads of food here and it looks really nice. Having huge amounts of food looks really good because there's not much colour in Fallout, obviously, but food, even though it's not as colourful as our food, it's still pretty darn colourful and cheers up your place very quickly. Nice little display cabinet here, we got Vault 111 jumpsuits, your special books, more signed baseball memorabilia, a little teddy bear, looking very nice, cool pictures hanging on the chains and stuff, because I can imagine Ellie was like, I really want to put a paint in there, but the wall's curved, let's put it on a chain, fantastic idea, go ahead and use that properly, cool chest there, little Vault 111 chest, you can go ahead and store stuff in there, there she is, hello there Ellie, premium coffee yet again, nice little coffee area here. It really does feel more like a diner than a garage. Which is pretty strange considering it was a garage, but hey, it works for me. Let's go ahead and take a look at the bathroom now. We've got lots of cool stuff to look at in here. We have got, of course, the throne itself. We need to go ahead and use that. You can go ahead and sit on the toilet, which is fantastic. It passes the final render toilet check right there. This is very weird. <laughs> very weird. We've got a mirror you can store stuff in, another tap so you can drink from. We've also got some first aid up there. Washers, dryers, everything like that. We've even got a bathtub. And of course, the most important thing, some immersive toilet paper right there. That's exactly what we need. Toilet paper facing the correct way, not the vanilla way, where it was faced the wrong way. We don't want that, people. We want immersive toilet paper only. And we've even got a little bathtub in here. Should I try to, <laughs> should I try to do this? Hey, pipes! <laughs> Come over here, I got a surprise for you, Piper. <laughs> you want to see my pistol in this bath, Piper? <laughs> this is very, very strange. But I like it. It feels good, to say the least. Oh, a little ironing board there. Never actually noticed that. And my favourite room to look at in this apartment is, of course, ba -ba -da -ba, the fantastic bedroom in here. The master bedroom, which is really, really nice. We've got some cool gun racks in here. And, of course, you can go ahead and store your weapons in here. Again, loads of static weapons in there to make it look really cool. You can go ahead and uh, take a good look in there. You can see there's a Tommy gun, there's a shotgun, there's a, even a missile launcher in there. My god, a lot of deadly weaponry in there. And I love this right here. Look at this helmet. Look at this helmet. How cool is this helmet? It looks absolutely awesome. I hope the kind of angle you guys are getting just show how good this helmet looks. Because that looks awesome, all the war paint on it and stuff. I love it, absolutely love it. And of course we've got other hats and stuff as well. But down here we've got some weapon mods, some ammo, some grenades, and of course we can go ahead and store all of our explosives in here as well. This is an explosive storage area, so watch yourself. And we've got all the mines and stuff down there as well. Looks absolutely awesome. Again, you know, everything is labelled. Everything can go ahead and become a special storage area for you to use. We've got special apparel here, obviously we've got all the suits and stuff here, we've got Preston Garvey suit, oh, I know there buddy. We've got the Vault suit, we've even got some of the more common suits around the Commonwealth. Even equipment area here to go ahead and store some of your equipment, such as your gas masks and stuff. Looks absolutely awesome, you can go ahead and get a proper look in here. See we've got some rope in there, we've got a pillowcase, a gas lamp. Absolutely awesome to go ahead and take a look at this. 
Nice little bookshelf there with the little, um, that's actually meant to be like a 10 foot statue, that line up there. But they obviously shrunk it down to make it fit on the bookshelf. Looks really nice out there, it's really nice indeed. Got a nice double bed there and some fantastic posters. I love Mr. Pebbles up there. Definitely have Mr. Pebbles for the new election. Ooh, look at that Power Armor figure right there. Let's go to the... Ooh. Hello there, Mr. Power Armor. How you doing, mate? Hey, yo. Bloop. There we go. <laughs> Ooh, caps. I want them. No, okay, can't use the caps. And, uh... This is going to be a staple of the series now, people, okay? This is something I always want to do. If there's a bed, we must check if there's anything underneath it. Let's go ahead and take a look. Anything under the bed? Oh my god, there actually is. <laughs> there's magazines and stuff under the bed. That is so cool. We've got like a little trunk in there, which we can go ahead and store stuff in as well. So yeah, there's actually stuff under the bed, which is absolutely awesome. Such attention to detail right there. Awesome. Awesome. So yeah, that was a quick look at really rocking Red Rocket, which, as I said, is one of the oldest home mods available for Fallout 4, and it's definitely an awesome one by Eleonora. I'm sure there's going to be lots of her work in this little series, if we decide to make it a series, of course, because she's done loads of them, and they're all of really high quality. But, oh dear, oh Piper, <laughs> you absolutely terrified me. Get out of my personal space, you... Okay. Let's go check out the next settlement, Piper. Let's go. And this is our next location. This is the Scavengers Safe House with Merchants by Red Rocket TV. And this is actually a pretty new mod, actually, this one. It's actually just a couple weeks old or so. And we're going to go ahead and take a look at it in VR. Red Rocket TV has made some really good stuff. In fact, Red Rocket TV actually had tutorials to show me how to do some of the scripting for some of my own mods. So that's fantastic. The uh, home is actually down here in the basement. Let's go ahead and break in. Ooh, this is nice. Buster's Bunker. Boston's thing? best bunker Most builders. folks are just looking for a hand. Oh, we gotta You wanna interrupt my intro a bit more, Piper? So let's go ahead and take a look. They're loving the- Ooh! Just about to compliment your mod there, but we got traps in here, see? Meh! Piper, uh, can you go ahead and do something about that, uh, horrible frag mine right there? And I'll get the one on the right. How about that? There we go. Two frag mines for us, eh? Good job, Piper, good job. Ooh, we even got some grenades. Why are there traps leading into my new home? That's what I want to know. But hey, very sneaky Red Rocket TV. Very sneaky indeed. And another lock. Okay, they definitely don't want us to get in, but hey, we're going to make this our home. There we go, we're in. Okay, only broke one bobby pin. All right, so we got stuff in boxes and stuff. So yeah, this is the actual home mod. There's a lot of stuff in this one. So as you can see, we've got some sorting cabinets right here, at, right as we enter. We like that. We like to have storage as we enter, so we don't have to spend too much time rummaging around for the stuff we need. We open this up here. We've got some really nice power armor displays in here. But something which is cool, again, Red Rocket TV taught me how to do this as well. Leave that door alone. I wanted that to be a surprise. For oh, whatever, Piper. We've got controllable light switches in here. Which is really nice. As I said, he's got videos telling you how to do it in the creation kit. We've got some power armor parts in there. It's a bit empty right now. We'll have to go ahead and fill that with some power armor. What about like through there? We've got like some power generators going off in there. That's pretty sweet. Some really nice little static decorations here with lots of things to go ahead and look at. Lots of gears and electrical components and ugh, nuclear stuff. Don't want to put me nose in that too much. Do we pipes? Otherwise we'll lose it. All right. And now there was a door here, but Piper actually went ahead and spoiled the surprise, didn't she? But this is the bulk of the home. Ah, 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 look at this place. Doesn't this look awesome? We've got our merchant right there. Let's go ahead and take a... Oh, actually, what does this do? Yeah, more light controls right there. Sweet. Ah. Open that up there. And we've got some cool little weapon racks and stuff in here that we actually can use. Let's go ahead. We've got a melee weapons one here. See if we can go ahead and do this. Do I have any melee weapons to transfer in there? I might not, actually. I don't have any melee weapons to put up there, but we do have some ballistic and energy weapon racks right here. Let's go ahead, oh, I don't know. Go ahead and put my Mauser rifle in there. Boom! And now it fills up with guns. Obviously, it doesn't show your specific gun, but it does show just guns in general. So you know there's definitely stuff in there. Let's go ahead and grab my Mauser back. That's the only rifle I've got. And in through there, even more stuff. Again, look at the amount of detail. Just all this stuff took effort to go ahead and turn static and put it into that little tray just for show. So, you know, looking at it in VR, it does give you an idea what's up. 
And this is our merchant, I presume, Troy Augustine. Hello there, Troy. Uh, okay, sure. What have you got? What's he got? He's got some caps to fill on him, that's for sure. He's got just under 2,000 caps. What have we got here? Dean's Electronics. Lots of cool electronic components and stuff to go ahead and make the place look believable. Lots of little horror tapes. Man, are those like the horror tapes from Fallout 3? And New Vegas? They actually are. Man, they've got the retro horror tapes in there. Terminal here to look at. What's on this? Stockpile your inventory. Oh, so we can just kind of instantly store a lot of our stuff away in here? That's pretty cool. We can just go to the terminal, dump all of our chems in here, presumably, and then know it's all done. We even got some lore by Troy. That's pretty cool. I'll leave that for you guys to read if you go ahead and download the mod. But yeah, that's not bad, actually. That's not bad. Oh, this right here. Lots of ammo boxes in here. Lots of ammo boxes. And lots of cool weapons on display again. We even got like stuff under here. How many people would know that? How many people would look under there to see if there's a gun? Mr. Final Render with his VR does, that's for sure. We check everything. I just realised, we should probably uh, turn that radio off in case of copyright. Should be fine, but let's do it just in case. Alright, so we got a bedroom in here. Very small little bedroom, I like this. You know, it feels very, feels very appropriate in a way. And it looks like it's been kind of built out of a container. Yeah, it's out of a shipping container. Not bad, not bad. Alright, so we've got... Render's locker! Hey, that's my locker! Alright, he's got some ammo in there already, just for me. Go ahead and grab that, pop that away. And we've got the single bed dry right there, we got... What on earth is that there? Is that a light? Please tell me this light works. Oh my god, the little light works as well. <laughs> ah, man, that is awesome! This is why I like Red Rocket TV, okay? Lots of attention to detail, lots of attention to detail. And I know he has watched me in the past, so I hope he sees this. A Red Rocket, the Road of the Commonwealth magazine there, pretty cool. Look at that Dragonov! Ooh, I want the Dragonov, I want the Dragonov. No, oh, that's just static for now. Okay, leave the Dragonov for now then. I've got a cool little kitchen in here. Ooh, look at this, I like this. Look at the light switch with the uh, bottle cap. Does this work as well? Hey, that works as well, that's awesome. We've got an absolutely delicious meal right here, haven't we? Gordon Ramsay would be proud of that one. It looks like a giant bit of tuna steak and a tiny, tiny little carrot, just the way we like them. <laughs> Got a cool sink here. Yep, sink works still, fantastic. Again, lots of cool static. Oh, there's even like smoke coming off the little kettle. Hey, kettle's done, Troy. Go get yourself a coffee. All the little mugs and stuff here. Does this work? Yep, that's a working camping stove right there. We can go ahead and, uh, oh, I can make some purified water. Sweet. Yep, fully works. We can go ahead and make all of our food there, fantastic stuff. Lots of beer, that's exactly what we need to see. Refrigerator, grab a drink. There's no drinks in the refrigerator. Oh, you lied to me. What about through here? What is through here? This place is absolutely massive, it's way bigger than I thought. Uh, armor racks, presumably working armor racks. Let's go ahead and take a quick check. I don't know, go ahead and uh, equip. Yep, it actually works, that's not bad. That is not bad indeed. Storage for all of our armors in there. Oh, we've even got some shotgun shells. I really needed that. We've got another little bedroom in here. This is... This place is huge. I love this. Hey, Pipes! Come check out the new room I found back here. Yeah, turns that light on right there. More weapons and stuff on display. You don't want to be too far away from your weapons, of course. Have them right on display in the bedroom right there. We've got the big book of science. That is a big book indeed. That is huge. Loads of books in there and magazines. We've got loads of books and stuff through there. What's that? Atomic cocktails, bartender's guide, guns and bullets, lasers and hunting, Tesla science. What about that picture there? Oh, who's that? Who's that? Is that someone from like... Whoa! Whoa, Piper! No, 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 no. No. Hey. Here yeah, we got future weapons today and I believe that's probably someone from like New Vegas or something. Got a bed ride right there. What's under the bed? Let's go ahead and take a look. Oh wow, look at the uh, look at the bed. It's made out of drawers and stuff and cinder blocks. That's a really nice touch, that is. That's a real nice touch. I like that. What about in there? Nothing in the locker. That's a really nice little bedroom right there. Really nice little bedroom. And here, of course, we have the toilet room and the bathroom area. We've got another one of those little shelf lamps in there. I, I love that. That's such a good attention to detail right there that I absolutely love. It even changes the colour when the light is on. That That's awesome, that is. We've got lots of toilet paper on there. We'll definitely need lots of that after the curry party later, won't we, Pipes? We've got ourselves some more storage in there. A locker, which we can go ahead and use. 
First aid? Ooh, it's actually locked, but let's go ahead and see what we got inside the first aid. I do need some more for my playthrough. What about there? We got a sink right here. A little bar of soap, toothbrush and stuff, all the essentials really. We got a shower right here. Does this work? It actually does. Holy hell. <laughs> okay, enough of the shower in there. Okay. After a nice hot shower, you gain plus two charisma boost for the next eight hours. Not bad, not bad. Okay, we got our working toilet there. Can we sit on it? Indeed we can. Hey, the lid even comes up when we sit on it. <laughs> That's a nice little touch right there. And what have we got? Yep, we got some toilet paper in there. In the cinder blocks. That's a... That's a cool way to do it, actually, just putting it in those cinder blocks right there. We've got a place to sit down and do your hair, you know, we've got a mirror so you can brush your hair and maybe do your eyebrows and stuff like that. Hey, Pipes, you can go ahead and cut your eyebrows in here, you need to do that. Okay, and besides that, though, I think there's just one more area right up there, but what's this button do? What's this button do? Dog bed, activate and deactivate. Does this make a dog bed appear somewhere? I don't know where it's meant to appear, but apparently it does. Okay, that's cool. So you can go ahead and make a bed for dog meat, presumably. Or any other pets you've managed to get in. New California Republic flag right there. Ooh, getting all new Vegas -y right there. More magazines, some really nice chairs. What are these? Car seats. They look really good, they do. I thought they were plane seats, but now they're car seats. But they, they look nice. They look nice. I like them. And what have we got through there? A big old button right there. Hydroponic system. Oh, does this turn a little water on for these moot fruit plants? <laughs> yes, that is cool! Look at that tiny little bonsai moot fruit plants right there. Look at that. Unassemble My First Infirmary. Examine. You find parts in the structures for med tech's My First Infirmary units. Oh, is this like another mod of some kind? Okay, presumably if you had all the components, I do not, then you could make a little infirmary set, which is kind of cool. We got a chem Oh, this is a chemistry station. Oh, that's cool. It's just regular, a regular table with objects that have been made static, but they've converted it into a chemistry station. That's uh, pretty sweet. Man, these lights are big. Wow. Okay, and I think that's it for this one as well. This is a really nice one, guys. Really cool attention to details and stuff with this one, like with the lamps and stuff. We've got a working vendor. We've got loads of cool stuff in here. This is a really nice mod. Red Rocket TV, once again, I'm very impressed by the stuff you have done. This is, this is really, really good. You definitely deserve to get as many people downloading this as possible, because this is absolutely ace. I forgot to show you guys earlier, so I think I should probably show you now. The club is right here. The Scavenger Safe House is just north of the Electrical Hobbyists Club. Okay, guys, so thank you very much for watching this video. I really hope it turned out okay, and uh, I really hope you enjoyed it. This has been me having a good walkthrough of some of the best home mods you can get, because loads of people have said, Final Render, you Titanic Superman! Why don't you just do a settlement walkthrough? I love settlement walkthroughs, because I thought, man, everybody does settlement walkthroughs, you know, I want to do it differently. So, doing it in the VR is a very different way to do it, I'm sure you'll agree. And it's been really cool to go ahead and look at some of these places in the VR, like, they are both really, really good. In future, I might make it one settlement per video, just so I have a good amount of time to go ahead and throw it all in there, make sure I get all the details of every settlement, but I've really enjoyed it. And there might be a way I can look up things to use in Settlement Transfer as well. Can't use a strict script extender with the VR. But maybe if I import it into regular Fallout 4 and then, you know, copy the save file into Fallout VR, then maybe, maybe, I haven't tried it yet, I could look up people's Settlement Transfer blueprints as well. I'm definitely going to have to test that. But yeah, thank you very much for watching this. This has been me looking at Really Rockin' Red Rocket and, of course, the Scavenger's Safe House mod. Fantastic home mods in general, I highly recommend them both, and I look forward to seeing you, hopefully, in the next episode of Walkthrough. Bye-bye for now.